when this house was originally constructed the builder didn't give the foundation the materials on the outside actually stopped above the foundation which caused uh, water rollover which essentially for what, 15 years this house has had water bleeding in through the top of the foundation into the house how we corrected it was we put flashing and lowered the siding system to where there can be no water bleed through. Originally the siding system was all the way up here. It was old masonite and the foundations here so there was a little gap. So every time it rained the water came down bled in to the base of the house and found its way along the other side of these walls. What we did is you see that gray up there, that gray is the flashing that flashes up behind the siding system. That way as water comes down and over, it then goes on that rim board this metal is actually flashed out above the brick so water rolls over under onto the metal back out over onto the brick there's no way for penetration whatsoever we carried that all the way through underneath the deck where you see it flashed underneath there as well She's bulletproof now. The same piece of metal, which they call rack guard, splash guard, all kinds of things in this industry. You can see it goes completely around the perimeter of the house. All these things are key to a good siding system. I'm talking to the helmet, George. Most normally what you'll see in the siding industry is they'll do some jack leg stuff like cut a hole through the siding itself. Here what we have is we have metal flashed completely behind the siding. This will get cocked off, this will get cocked off. That way if there's ever any water bleed through it finds its way down to the bottom and works itself back out of the siding system itself. Looks good. Just needs cock. <laughs> Same here. Most normally what you'll see is a box of some kind, sort of like this. But I prefer this. It's not as unsightly. They'll cock this off, cock all this off. And as you can see, the flashing that goes completely around the house and this metal goes back behind the siding system itself. Here was also a concern. Not only did they need something for this to set on, we had to have a way to completely flash around and allow water to move to ground through gravity. As you can see here, the bottom of these, were, not only do you have your tie par, which is your water vapor, there's also a second ground, ground barrier here of flashing that's a pan. It goes completely underneath this. How water normally penetrates into the house to the bottoms is it actually splashes up or it'll curl over.
same situation here where it's actually flashed up underneath the water vapor it's a metal not only for aesthetics did we change the colors of this with this house we increase ventilation by adding vents so it won't get sick home syndrome what we have here is vented soffit. What we have here is vented soffit, as you can see on the sides where it's hidden. What we did, we added a, underneath the soffit, we added holes, and then we screened it in to keep the bugs and all the unnecessaries out. And this goes up there just like this. Or actually, it's like this. 